Hi guys and welcome to another Divi4 video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we've got a short one for you today. What we're going to do is export a page from one Divi website to another one uh, using their builder import and export. Really easy to do. But there's a couple of little foibles here. You don't actually import the page to where you'd imagine. I'll show you exactly how. So I've got a page here on this particular site and I want to export the whole page to a new site so let's go in I'll enable my visual builder once the builder is loaded what we need to do is go down to our little purple button at the bottom here left click on it and expand if we go over to the right hand side to this little purple button with the two up and well the two arrows one up one down portability left click on it and we can say export or we call it we'll, I'll call it about now hit the little export Divi builder layout button the blue one at the bottom and as you can see it's exported it to my browser here I'm using Google Chrome you, yours may download to a different default download location for you usually it's in my documents and downloads okay so we've got that let's go over to our new site here we are at our new site so we go to our dashboard down to Divi and usually when I'm importing and exporting I'd go to the Divi library I'd export a section or a module from one and I'd import it here import and export at the top here but you're probably going to find this isn't going to work with the whole page. I need to have it on the import tab and I'll drag my file up there just to where it says no file selected. And now you can see it says about JSON. So it's there. Choose file import Divi Builder is the next thing. I want to click on that. And I think I'm going to get a little error message. Yeah, this file should not be imported into this content. So it's a bit of a head scratcher but it's really easy what you do with the whole page is let's get out of here we don't want to be in the library at all we actually want to go ahead and create a new page I'm going to call it about funnily enough and I'm going to use the Divi builder then I'm going to say build from scratch I'm gonna get rid of that now I'm gonna go down on my little purple button again and hit the little portability button on the right one more time this time I'm gonna hit the import tab again I'm gonna drag my little file up there hit the little import DV builder layout now this, depending on the amount of data you've got on there, this may take a minute or two to actually upload and configure. There we go, actually that took less than a minute. And as you can see, it's loaded our page nicely onto our site here. So I just wanted to do that, it's pretty, pretty, basic and straightforward but you don't load it where you imagine you would like I say usually with modules sections and stuff when I export them from one site to use them in another site I put them straight into the library you can't do that with a page you need to create a new page of your own and then just import the uh, exported file to that one like we've done in this video so I hope you found that helpful and enjoyed it if you have please give it a thumbs up share comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel and if you want to try out the Divi theme that we're using here it's absolutely awesome you can download it from my affiliate link just below this video if you're interested in web development take a look down below we've got some great free web development courses down there as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers so do check it out once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.